Yo, yo, it's your boy Best, and it's sad me to bring you this news, because the joint just keep getting out of hand, out of hand, bro. But p b Rock was on a date with his girlfriend in California when someone attempted to rob him. I guess p b Rock wasn't going for it, because the robber shot him, and after he shot p b Rock, I guess he took the chain off his neck, according to TMZ. And in my eyes, that is pretty dumb, because now you can't even wear the chain, because you're going to be a suspect in this case. But unfortunately, there was a video surfacing the internet a little bit earlier, showing the aftermath of p b getting shot. He was laid out in a puddle of blood, and it didn't look too good. Many people believe that the robber was able to check where PMB was because his girlfriend posted a location on her Instagram story. Now, she didn't post PMB Rock himself, but she posted them getting food, well, the food, the plate, and Roscoe's location in California. Many people believe that the robber was able to see that location and track their whereabouts. And this is a girlfriend that PMB Rock is public about, so many people are paying attention to her. Now... The whole internet is going crazy at her saying, oh, she messed up, bro. She shouldn't have posted PB Rock location. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't on purpose. You feel me? Like, it's just a learning lesson for her. Like, when you're dating somebody that has clout, money, there's people out there that will target them because they want what they got. Not even what they, yeah, they want, they got, they want what they got. So they will try PB Rock this for a little bit of clout. Or they'll try PB Rock thing and they're going to come up. They might even target you because you're attached to them. And this is not the first time this has happened in California. Um, a couple years back, Pop Smoke was shot and killed at this location after he posted a picture with his location. So people just got to be more cautious of posting location, waiting until you leave that location to post. It's getting sad. There's somebody out there that's willing to crash out, take that risk. To They're willing to crash out and take that risk and, a, and an attempt to take your life out just because they want something that you got. And it's sad. And this happened a couple of days ago too with Sauce Walker. Somebody tried to take uh, Sauce Walker's chain, but it didn't go. It didn't work out how the guy wanted. I repeat him. It's getting dangerous in California. I feel like rappers need to get security guards. If you have some type of money, get security, bro. Because it don't matter if you if you flash that chain, if you flash that watch, if you flash any little bit of money, people are willing to crash out and come take it from you. But it's sad that we lost Premier Rock. He was a tenter artist out of Philadelphia. I listened to him a lot. I met him one time in Buffalo, New York, when he came to perform. He seemed like a dope guy, dope artist. I was definitely a big fan of him, I, I, especially 2017 when I think he came out, but him and A-Boogie was working on earlier. Shit, sad, though, that we lost Premier Rock. Um, I want to send my condolences to him and his family. And, yeah, RP Premier Rock. It's sad that we lost a tenter artist at the age of 30. And it looked like he was working on a project, so... It's unfortunate we lost him right before he even got to push this project. R.I.P. and P and B.